guys it's digital next level here and today we are going to talk about the basic introduction of partial reconfiguration and for that we'll just uh, do a slight demo of PR flow so let's start from creating a project so this is our project let's name it PR flow and and I'll add just add some files. I'll add this right for now. And I'll add I'll I'll add some more files. So uh, for our purpose of this demonstration, we'll be using two uh, partitions, and each partition will have two reconfigurable modules. So this will be top module and there will be shift right and shift down also we will be adding those uh, files later so we can add constant also so we will be using this vcu118 board and we will be adding, adding top module constant and p block module constant this p block, p block are these partitions and those partitions will also need to be constant and so we will be using these two and let me select the board and there's VCU118 so I've got top module and top module has this clock and shift right so we'll be adding shift left also and we'll be adding new, creating new partition also so I'll just go to this shift right and right and create okay for to be able to use partition partial reconfiguration we need to enable the partial re reconfiguration first and this is a one-way process this is re irreversible so once you convert it to PR flow you won't be able to return back so let's convert it so now we have uh, PR flow enabled and I'll just click here and create partition definition. So we have uh, one shift right partition definition. So this let me, let's make this uh, name the definition of this partition and let's make it shifter. T E R shifter. And uh, this is um, shift. So now what how this changes to diamond shapes okay now the, uh, we have already made this made up one partition with one modules so let's add uh, another modules and other partitions so we can for that we can go to parts partial reconfiguration wizard and we'll just click next and we'll add another module and add file mm. and shift left and I'll make the name of it uh -huh. shift left left so you don't need to put top model name it will automatically recognize it so we can Add this hit next and uh, there are configuration there is, uh, it needs to know the voice what are the configuration for uh, for uh, the first time we can uh, directly click, click automatically reconfigure and we can see there are two configure uh, two modules shift right and shift right and for that we can rename this uh, this configuration name for that we can keep it config config right and config left so there is a um, for uh, configuration run also we can directly click automatic automatically recreate so this is the these are configuration run that is generated automatically so we can just finish so you can see here in design there is our implementation that's 
uh, config left that we added later and there is config right so now we can just synthesize it and okay and we'll be back after when this gets synthesized so the synthesis is completed so now we'll just open synthesize design so we have already kept the uh, the xtc file or constant file for internal partitions also in our constants file so we'll be seeing two p blocks uh, in our float planning already uh, so it already exists okay so you can see there are two p blocks and these were uh, constraints uh, constraint earlier in our flow like we can see in flow manager there are constraints and in there is already p block and it already had the location of our the, the partitions so so we have this uh, two partitions if we didn't have those them then we could uh, have uh, right click here and we could go to floor planning and draw p block and we could draw new partition like this for, for now we already have that so we'll just ignore this part and we'll be talking about this later in later, later videos so for now we can just uh, finally we should uh, check report drc this is uh, this is uh, to check whether they, we have uh, some errors or not already so we'll just we just need to check the parts partial reconfiguration uh, log or errors um, so we'll be checking rules of partial reconfiguration so we can just press ok so there are some advices and we can just ignore them uh, for now and uh, yeah we have um, everything is good to go there are no errors so now we can just run implementation and so i'll be back when implementation completes so in the, the implementation is completed then i clicked this open implemented design and in here i selected the floor planning so this is the floor planning and we can see there's this two partitions are here and there are two reconfigurable module in each partition and these are the routing paths uh, of from this of these partitions so this is implementation and uh, we'll be doing uh, just generate bit stream here and i'll come back when bit stream gets generated so the bit stream is generated uh, we can see the generated bit stream here and uh, so we have here partial bit of left with low and here is partial bit of right with low and here is partial bit of uh, left with high and here is partial bit of right with high and here is top bit file and this makes five of them two for each partition and one static top module so this is uh, this bit stream will be loaded to the vc1118 device so in next video we'll be talking how can we add new files and at, uh, attach those files in this uh, design so that we can uh, improve this design